What's going on everyone? Ains here from Season Gaming and today we're going to be looking at a new piece of hardware on the market primarily designed for mobile gamers. So obviously mobile gaming a huge market right now. There's a lot of uh, movement in the market as well with things like xCloud, gaming on tablets, kind of bigger budget games coming to that mobile space. And so we're going to be looking at this. This is the GameSir X2 Bluetooth controller. Now, I want to say right up front, as we do with everything here at Season Gaming, uh, we don't do any paid promotions, don't do any advertising, etc. But I have to be clear that this was sent to me by the company. They asked for me to do a video on this, and so that's what we're going to do here today. But by no means is this going to be kind of a hardcore review or, you know, really going into deep detail on this. Uh, I want to give you an overview of the product, how it compares to some other things, and, uh, you know, just let you know my kind of general thoughts on it. So couple things to note. First, as you can see here, uh, nice package, right? A uh, nice box that you would find on the shelf. And the unit here is uh, nice as well. So it's a pretty compact size. Um, as you can kind of see between the blue and red accents and the shape of it, it almost re uh, resembles like a smaller switch. And so I'll go into the details here in a few minutes, but two things to be aware of. One, this is the updated version for 2021. So GameSir made a prior model. Uh, you can tell by the D-pad. This has a proper D-pad now, whereas previously it was buttons um, and a few other features on the controller. The other aspect is, as I mentioned, this is the Bluetooth one. So they have two versions. If you see a white one, it connects via USB-C to your phone. And because it's USB-C, it doesn't work with Apple phones, right? It works with Android devices and or tablets. Uh, whereas this being Bluetooth is a little more uh, compatible with more devices. And in fact, I use an iPhone and I'm going to be showing you that shortly. Um, and I've had no issue with it. It works very well. Now, two kind of core details to know out of the gate. First, uh, this extends just like you see here, um, like some others and kind of clamps in. Uh, this extends to 173 millimeters, which equates to roughly around 6.8 inches. So when you're measuring your phone uh, width-wise, if it's bigger than 6.8 inches, then you know this isn't going to work. The other thing to keep in mind is that because this is Bluetooth, right, there is a little bit of input lag when compared to USB-C. Um, but according to GameStar, it's about 10 milliseconds, um, and it's it's incredibly minor. I mean, it's there, but it, it hasn't really negatively impacted my experience. So before I show you this uh, in a demo form very quickly, um, here's the unit. As you can see, you got uh, you know your two thumbsticks, your D-pad. It's got an Xbox button layout on the Bluetooth version. So it's kind of strange because I know the USB-C version has a Nintendo button layout. I'm not sure why they're different between the two, but just letting you know they are. Um, a host of other buttons here, which kind of touch on some of the functionality. Bumpers, triggers, and it's got some textured handles here as well that are a little curved even though it looks very square here on the outside edge here you can kind of see it's got a curve for your hands so but first before i show you how it works just the package so this uh retails for 59.99 um, and it comes with a nice box here the other thing is I really like the presentation it comes with. So it comes already with a hard shell carrying case and the unit will come in here when you receive it. This is very, very similar because I actually have the Nintendo Switch case um, to uh, uh, that looks very similar to this and it's almost identical, right? This is just smaller. Um, it comes with a USB-C cable. Now because this is a Bluetooth version, there is a USB-C port here uh, where you have to charge it, right? This is battery powered. Um, and so uh, it lasts anywhere from kind of three to four hours in my experience. It can kind of vary depending on what you're doing, what you're connected to. Um, but you know, decent amount of time. Again, probably rather rather similar to the Switch itself. So, and lastly, it comes with a small box of accessories. And within here, uh, it comes with a number of things. So it comes with your instruction manual, obviously goes without saying, right? It comes with a GameSir sticker, if you'd like to support the company. Uh, a, a few kind of quick tips and registration <clears throat> but also notably it comes with uh, extra thumbstick pads and so when you first get this <clears throat> the thumbsticks have this smaller kind of rounded edge here and it's rather flat but what they include are some wider ones for people like me who like a little bit bigger thumb pad and they just slot right on over top like that and that's how I've been using it which uh, you know it's got pretty good movement so 
Now I mentioned the price on this at $59.99 US, and that compares pretty favorably, right? Because the Kishi, which is probably the most popular option and one I've used as well, uh, typically retails for $99.99, though you have been able to find it for less than that lately. And then you have the Backbone, the other popular uh, you know, option, which is also $99.99 in terms of MSRP. So really, you know, this is a pretty nice package, especially considering you also get a hard shell case and some other accessories here. Now from a build quality perspective, uh, it is rather light, which is, you know, good in terms of holding it, but it is a little kind of plasticky, if you will, you know what I mean? It, it, it's not like the, uh, it doesn't feel like a, uh, <laughs> a super uh, solid kind of, you know, polished out of metal device. It's not supposed to, of course, but um, it definitely has that light kind of feel to it. Now, in terms of the thumbsticks themselves, uh, they both do have an L3 and R3 function, which is uh, actually very nice. The thumbsticks have good movement on them, and the, uh, the button actuation and the uh, D-pad are all very solid. Um, I had no problems at all playing games in terms of uh, getting it to recognize my inputs or any type of com comfort issues. Um, it's a generally nice feeling controller. So, like I said, I don't want to go into a million details here because there's a lot to it. Uh, you can connect this to Android, you can connect to the iPhone. What you do is you basically hold down this home button and depending on what you're connecting to, uh, you will <clears throat> connect it to different devices which actually comes up with different colors here, these little lights. So <clears throat> I've got my iPhone next to me here with xCloud running on it because I'm in the, uh, you know, the insider kind of demo for Xbox there. And what I've done is I already had Hellblade up and running. So, <clears throat> like I said, not going to do a full demo here, but, uh, you know, just very quickly you can kind of see, sorry about the reflection there, guys, trying to find the best angle to give you. But really quickly you can see, uh, you know, in terms of input lag, it's, it's rather minor and it's very playable. Uh, I tried Hellblade, I've tried MLB The Show I've played, uh, I've played some Halo, which obviously is very fast moving and needs to be pretty responsive. And obviously, too, playing through xCloud, you're at the mercy of xCloud itself, not just the controller. Um, but generally speaking, like I said, is, you know, when you hold it like this, um, it, it's comfortable. It's easy to set up. As you saw, uh, when I hold down the, X, uh, con excuse me, the home button and connect to an iPhone device, uh, you simply connect through Bluetooth on the phone, whatever device you're using, and, and you're in. I mean, it's, it's very simple to set up, and you can use that for... XCloud, you could use on Android devices, it works on Google Play, MiFi games, um, pretty much a wide range of things that you can play on your mobile game that uh, support controller support. Now the other really interesting thing here I'll show you, and let me uh, pull this back out. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and close that for now, but uh, some of the things that uh, don't support natively a controller, uh, Genshin Impact was an example I saw used, I haven't tried it myself but I did see others use it as well, is uh, that GameSir has their own app. So you have the app on the phone here and within this, as you can see, kind of comes up, you can connect to the device and M5 game as you see and key settings on that menu. Um, and so what that allows you to do, right, is you can use the app in the background to uh, basically map the controls from the Bluetooth controller to the game itself, even if it doesn't natively support it. So again, a lot of options here and um, everything I've tested in terms of connecting to the phone, connecting to uh, a tablet, using this app, all of those things were very, very easy to set up. It's, it's just generally well designed, which is nice, right? It makes it simple. So honestly, uh, <clears throat> it really is that simple. Uh, it's a nice piece of kit. It's a nice uh, kind of package that you can get for $59.99. I uh, it did ship to me from China, which took a little less than two weeks. I know you can order it directly from them as well. Uh, so, you know, if, if that's a good deal for you and you are looking for something like this, don't be afraid of ordering internationally. It had no problem at all. As I said, it connects very simply, seems to work well. I've used it quite a bit without issue. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to obviously getting a lot more time about it in the future. If anything else pertinent kind of comes up as I'm using it over the next several months, uh, I will update in the uh, comments below. But for the most part, like I said, I, I've used this for quite a bit of time now, um, at least 10 plus hours, and had no issue whatsoever. Uh, so it's, it's been really good. So if you're on the market for something like this uh, to connect to your phone and kind of create that controller for you from a mobile perspective, um, I know the Kishi and the Backbone are out there. They're the, the popular options, if you will. You hear a little less about this one. But uh, give it a look. 
definitely look up some other videos like mine look up some other reviews uh, I think you may be impressed with what you find here so as always uh, pleasure kind of showing these things to everyone if you have any questions for me whatsoever something I didn't cover that you're wondering about this I'm happy to kind of play around with it and let you know um, just leave a comment and as always uh, appreciate the support on the channel thank you so much until next time